I've shared in the past how to make a homemade magnesium oil spray, but the only problem with this was that it could tingle and itch when applied onto the skin if the body was deficient in magnesium. What I've come to love about magnesium creams over sprays is how they can provide a healthy dose of magnesium without the sting and discomfort. It's a lot more pleasant to rub the lotion into the skin after a shower or bath and not be left with stinging, burning and at times unbearable itching after application. And the nourishing cream leaves my skin feeling hydrated and moisturised for hours afterwards. I like to take magnesium in this supplemented form because, unfortunately, our soil and food are depleted of this vital nutrient, and I fall into the large group of people who have a magnesium deficiency, along with most of the population. I like using topical magnesium on my skin, especially at night, as it promotes better sleep by positively affecting GABA receptors in the brain, which helps the body to relax and sleep better. Using a topical form of magnesium rather than ingesting it internally means it bypasses the digestive system, being absorbed straight into the bloodstream from the skin, so those who have trouble absorbing magnesium internally may find that a magnesium oil or cream can prove to be more effective than ingesting supplements. This vital nutrient is involved in over 600 cellular processes in the body and it can be a helpful remedy for ailments like morning sickness brought on by pregnancy, leg and muscle cramps, restless leg syndrome, migraines and insomnia. It can help improve digestion, has anti-inflammatory benefits, lowers blood pressure and can improve mental health by helping with depression, anxiety and stress. Rather than taking melatonin to help with sleep at night, you can rub some of this magnesium lotion onto your feet to help promote restful sleep. Some pre-made magnesium lotions have sulfates, parabens, capric triglyceride, MSN, xanthan gum and glycerol stearate in the ingredients, but we're skipping those here in this DIY lotion. You don't need to apply this magnesium lotion all over the body like a moisturiser to get results. You can simply apply it onto the bottoms of the feet, onto the legs, arms, stomach or any troublesome areas. Just avoid applying it onto the face as it may clog pores. To make this magnesium lotion, add a quarter cup of coconut oil, three tablespoons of beeswax and three tablespoons of shea butter to a small bowl and place the bowl on top of a saucepan filled with water to create a double boiler. Bring the water to a boil and occasionally stir the ingredients until the wax is completely melted. Remove the bowl from the heat and allow it to cool slightly before adding in 20 drops of lavender essential oil and half a cup of magnesium oil to the melted wax mixture. Pour the mixture into a mixing bowl or blender and let the mixture cool to room temperature, developing a slight opaque colour. Whip the lotion using an immersion blender, stand mixer, small hand mixer or regular blender on medium speed until a thick lotion develops. Transfer the cream to a glass mason jar with an airtight lid. To make the cleanup afterwards even easier, you can place the ingredients straight into the jar that you'll be using to store it in and place the jar into a pot of simmering water to melt the ingredients. Please note that beeswax isn't easy to clean off of utensils and dishes, so I recommend using the least amount of equipment possible when making this lotion. I've found when cleaning, it's easiest to use boiling water and wipe it out with paper towels. To use, apply this magnesium lotion to the skin daily or as needed. If I find I'm particularly deficient in magnesium, I'll use it twice a day, once in the morning and once before bed. This lotion will last up to six months when stored in an airtight container and out of direct sunlight. It can be kept at room temperature, but it may change consistency when temperatures reach above 24 degrees Celsius or 76 degrees Fahrenheit. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Please let me know if you try this recipe yourself and if you've used magnesium oil before. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon again.